Justin Coe. This is flight two of tips and tricks at work. Well, here comes my truck. Anyway, um, <laughs> time to fly and get back. Let's do it. First mode, stability mode. You all know that. If you watch my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna keep giving you information about helicopters that come out. Back to that stable mode. Stunt one. Stunt two. So the roll rate's kind of slow for me. You can turn that up too. Let's see how fast it goes. Every flight I try a little something more because I'm starting to trust it. Not that I wouldn't, but you know, a new helicopter, guys. You don't want to. You don't want to just get into it and start beating on it until it's tuned. You know, so yes, it is tuned out of the box, but you can tune it to preference. So if you're complaining, don't be, because you can tune this helicopter. Whoop! Get a hold of it. Part of this is my vision. I can't see anymore, you guys. Figure eight. Sideways. There is agility on this too, guys, and um, I think that's what I'm fighting right now. I need my agility turned down a little bit. It's um, gets more robotic as you go up. I actually like my helicopter to feel free, so I'm gonna show you right now how to do that. Okay, so battery pack voltage is down a little. We're going to go to forward programming again. Throttle is high, it warns you, but when you connect, it knocks out the throttle. So now we can go to swashplate. And yes, I'm tuning the gyro. So I like the roll rate, but I feel stiff to me. So it's at 85 now. I believe it was at 95. I'm going to go down a little more. Let's go down to 75. So Kosho is on 75 at agility, and I believe, let's make sure it took that. 75 on agility, everybody, see that? There it is, 75. You can hit roll, and you can see that there's a rolling per second. I'm at 300. Proportional gain, I had a little shake yesterday, so I turned it down to 48. Now, what does proportional integral and derivative do? Well, proportional, is when the helicopter is stable and it's shaking, you would turn that down. If it's not stable, you would turn it up. Um, integral is when I move, what does it do on the ends? Does it go dong, dong? Well, if integral is too high, it'll bounce on the end like it's on a rubber band, so we'll, we'll knock down that integral. If it's not high enough, it's gonna be loose. So you want the helicopter to fly tight, and too much is too bad, and too little is not good either, so. You want a happy medium. So here we are, my voltage is at 11.7 volts. I'm still good to fly. Nice slow start. Everything you wanna do is in this flight controller. James Haley's been working on this a long time. And I'm here to show you that it works. So now where is it at? Let's see. So now my agility is better where I like it. 
basically slamming the stick now. I guess I can post these settings in the subscription below. And what I do and what they mean. So you know, the tail can still be tuned a little. I can tune it. But I can fly it way better than I could before because it's all preference, everybody. I can 3D cardboard if I have to. Cars are tripping out, that's for sure. This is Justin Kosho Co. Just doing mellow flight with my Blade 330S from Horizon Hobby. Cut that bush, baby. Trim the weeds, huh? Give me an idea. Oh yeah, she's getting down now, guys. Starting to get real comfortable. And I haven't flown in a few days, so you gotta get your fingers warm. This is the heli to do it. People watching my helicopter gotta honk at each other. <laughs> okay, that battery's dead. Let's land. Uh, I forgot I had to go back to work. <laughs> In my work boots, everybody. Time to go. Uh, boy, I flew that battery down low. Don't do that. 10.1 volts and the heli's still flying. So, that battery is almost dead. Uh, I could set an alarm, but I didn't. So, you can do anything you want nowadays with this iX12. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing good need doors pro door san diego that's me get your entry door fixed or your interior doors san diego residents only thank you